The images that your eyes see are formed when multiple rays of light converge in a single area known as a focal point. We have two different kinds of lenses that can help us do this known as converging lenses and diverging lenses. For either of them to work, they need to have focal points, which you can see they have on either side of them. Both kinds of lenses use these focal points to create these shapes out of waves of light, which helps us see images through them. For converging lenses, the rules are as follows. Rays to the lens center will remain unrefracted, rays horizontal to the x-axis will refract through the right focal point, and rays moving through the left focal point will refract horizontal to the x-axis. For diverging lenses, the rules are as follows. Rays to the lens center will still remain unrefracted, but the rest is flipped. Rays horizontal to the x-axis will refract through the left focal point, and rays moving through the right focal point will refract parallel to the x-axis. The images created by these two lenses are different from each other. Converging lenses create something known as a real image, which is made when the rays come together to form the image, though as you can see it would be inverted. Diverging lenses create something known as virtual images, where the rays don't come together where the image appears to be to your eye. When talking about lenses, we also have to talk about mirrors. There are two types of mirrors, concave mirrors and convex mirrors. Like the lenses, these mirrors have their own set of rules for each other that dictate how they make images. For concave mirrors, it's going to be that rays parallel to the x-axis will reflect through the left focal point, and rays passing through the left focal point will reflect parallel to the x-axis. Wherever these rays intersect is where your image is going to be. For convex mirrors, it's going to be that the rays horizontal to the x-axis will reflect through the right focal point, and rays passing through the right focal point will reflect parallel to the x-axis. You can see that they both point away from each other, so you have to draw virtual lines from the reflections to where your image is going to appear to be in your eye. Let's go over thin film interference, which is responsible for the colors you see on top of oil spills. Thin film interference is a result of a wave of light penetrating two layers of material, with the top layer being denser than the bottom layer. As it does this, waves of light get reflected off the surface of both the denser and the less dense material. These reflected wavelengths will interfere with each other, which is the result of all the color on top. Interference can look like this, which is destructive. It can also look like this, which is constructive. Really, what any of that means is just that waves of light are waves. They have hills and valleys. When multiple waves of light are moving at the same time near each other, they'll combine, and the final strength of the wavelength is going to be dictated by whether or not they line up. As in the case of the top two wavelengths, when they don't line up, it's destructive interference, and the total wavelength at the end is going to be weaker. But as in the case of the top and the bottom wavelengths, when they do line up, it's constructive interference, and they'll be added together with the final wavelength being stronger than the two of them on their own.